Prophetic Hour. Receive this program with Prophet Passion Java. This program will bring you prophetic impartation, replication, and revelations that will change your life forever to encourage, inspire, and motivate you to keep marching toward your destiny. Prophetic Hour. Now receive this fresh word from Prophet Passion as it flows from the vials of heaven to saturate your soul. Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion Java. church is for people that know Jesus already. But I'm here to take you to church. If you have never been in church, I'll be happy to go with you on Sunday. Uh, church is kind of boring for me. I think this is good for me. Thank you, Prophet. Well, I'm, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, drinking alcohol. And but, if you allow me, I'm going to talk something. Hey, can you give me a strawberry daiquiri virgin? Yes. Prophet, uh, like you said, I don't think um, there's, any, there's a problem of me drinking because according to your Bible, Psalms 104, if I'm not mistaken, it says, God gave wine to people so that they'll be blessed. So well, I don't think... My church now is different from any other churches that you may have attended because my church is not cultural. When we say to people, don't drink, in our church what we are doing we are not talking the bible but we are talking a culture that we believe in in our church you see some of the churches will deal with dress code don't wear mean skirt don't wear this type of dressing as a lady don't be like this just a virgin strawberry taker is called the virgin make it virgin well in our church we don't touch dressing we are not cultural or put doctrine to people. Why? Because you would find in the Bible that we preach, God never visited Adam because he was wearing a nice big Gucci suit like you have. Thank you. Or any type of dressing. God visited Adam when Adam was extra naked. No boxer short, no pajamas, no suit, which means my dressing does not qualify me to be close or far away from God. We, we are an open book simply because it is the Bible and the relationship you have with God. I'm, I'm not here to take you. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. If you would like to speak to the prophet for a private prophetic session, register for a one-on-one -on -one phone call with him. Please visit prophetpassion.com and click the button that says one on one on top of the page. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. So, Prophet, are you saying uh, your church, you like people like us, like people who drink? Uh... Well, talking about drinking, it's a whole lot of big subject, simply because the Bible says, drink a little wine. Because according to doctors, according to doctors, if you go, they will tell you, take a little wine for your health. It's good for your heart. It's good for your liver. It, it is so good. And you would find Jesus turning water into wine, making people to drink. And 
him being found around people drinking like where I am right now. But the main point is, according to Yelth, before we talk of the Bible, if you take more wine, it's not good for your health. It's going to destroy you. And there is a difference between wine and I, I, I really don't know how to break them apart. But there is a difference between wine, beer, spirits. Okay. And, and oftentimes the Bible dealt with wine, never spoke about spirits, never spoke about beer. You look like you are more educated in this. Well, I've been, preaching, I've been preaching since 2001 and uh, I, I study a lot of the, the Bible and I have a lot of people guiding me. And, but mm. I, I'm just here not to tell you not to drink or anything. But I want you to, to, to understand it's about your relationship with God. It's, it's between you and God. Okay. You may not go to church. You may go to church. But what I can tell you is Jesus was in church and out of church and most of the things that Jesus did, he did all those things outside of the church. All the 12 disciples Jesus gathered, he took them outside of the church. Jesus was baptized out of the church. Jesus fed 5,000 people with bread and fish outside of the church. To tell the whole world, it's not about the building, it's not about the structure, it's not about location. But where two or three are gathered in the name of God, is what I call a church. So are you saying now it's, it's a church, we're in a club, so you're saying this is a church? Well, I am saying you need a personal relationship with God. Many people ask me the question, is, is, is drinking alcohol a sin? And, come to them. And, and I would tell them how many percentage are you taking to yourself? Because Jesus turned water into wine and people use that to drink wine. But according to study, if you, if you take wine for 50 years, it's gonna have more percentage of alcohol. Mm -hmm. But Jesus turned water into wine, meaning he never stored it to, to, to make sure it matures and gain a lot of alcohol percentages, Okay. right? So it's like grape juice, added some one, two, three, four, five, I don't know how many percentage he was in there. Mm. And the Bible in conclusion says, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Listen to me very carefully, my brother. Don't be drunk with wine. Meaning be drunk, but not with wine. Now, it became interesting to a lot of people now. Yeah, and many people confused. got confused big time. How are they being confused? The Bible is saying don't be drunk, which is okay. With wine means something else can make you drunk. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the, I know we, we're not in a good place for me to share what I'm sharing with you, but hear me. The Holy Spirit can fill your life and take you to another level. Simply because many people, according to study, they drink alcohol mainly because they are stressed mainly because they are going through rough stages in their lives but according to study that feeling can only be there for a night but the stress is not going to leave you but once you're filled with the holy spirit there is peace understanding that worketh in you above what anything else can take you or what you can ever experience. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. To invite Prophet Passion to your church, please visit ProphetPassion.com and scroll down to the blue button that says Invite Prophet Passion. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. So what I have for you today is wine in the church I grew up. We are not allowed to drink wine. That's why I never drank wine. Not according to the Bible. 
according to the church doctrine that we have. I'm talking to you and I'm talking to somebody who may be listening to me right now. The thing is, wine is not allowed in certain churches and it's allowed in certain churches according to doctrine, right. according to okay. the culture of that okay. specific church. I get you. I don't drink wine. When I do Holy Communion, so you've never drank wine before? I never did. I don't will to you do so. Me. But I want you to understand this. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party because Holy Ghost party don't stop. The more joy you can ever feel is only in the Holy Spirit. Drinking wine is good for a while. It's good for your heart. It's good for your stomach. Yet the Bible says it as well. But be filled with the Holy Spirit. Meaning to say the Bible says, test a little one, but don't be drunk. Don't be drunk, don't take a lot. When we talk about eating, eating is good. You can have KFC, enjoy your KFC, but listen to me very well. If you take a lot of it, the Bible says gluttons and drunkards do not inherit the kingdom of God. Drunkards and gluttons, they are never going to inherit the kingdom of God. So what I have for you today is don't be around those that eat a lot. And don't be around those that drink a lot. Food is good, bro. Food is good, but don't take a lot of it. Don't be a glutton. They, 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 yeah, you may say, I, I made a mistake. I have a, a pastor friend of mine in Canada, and he's Italian, and every food that they have, they have a little wine on the side. They don't drink to be drunk. They drink to enjoy. And one day he forgot he's drinking, he thinks he's drinking water and he takes a lot of it and comes back to church and he couldn't really stand and people saw he was drunk and they laughed about it as Italian churches, they accept it and they understand it. But listen to me very well. Don't be drunk with wine. There's a difference between being drunk and being a drunkard. You can be drunk with a mistake here and there. You can be drunk on your honeymoon. But to hear me very well, don't be a drunkard because mm. the drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. You may eat a lot on your party, on a wedding, on this event, ABC, but, but hear me very well. Hmm. Once you come to a place where you become a glutton, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. So what I have for you is, you're my brother, I like your suit. You have some beads, I have some beads, I don't know who told you to wear. You have a nice watch that kind of looks like my watch, but listen to me very well. It will be good for me to be with you in my church. It will be good for you to come to my church. I'm not going to ask you to receive Jesus because I don't know your position with God. But I'm going to ask you to build your relationship with God. He would say to his disciples, who do men say I am? He would say, my pastor said this, my mom said this, this one. But he said, who do you say I am? And, and, and I, I would want you, my brother, to come to a place where it's not about your church, it's not about your pastor, it's not about anybody. It's about, do you know Jesus? Hmm. Are you connected to Jesus? Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. Do you want to hear God? To receive prophetic impartation, please register today for our prophetic school, also found under ProfitPassion.com under Schools. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. Thank you, Prof. So, Prof. Before, before, before you leave, um, you know, it's, I'm sure. Well, I'm not here to leave. I have everybody to talk to today. I'm sure that uh, uh -huh. you, you preach the word of God in, in a place like that. I'm a kind of, I'm, I'm kind of like believing what you say. Where can I find you? Where is your church? How do I go about it? Well, Prophet Pastor has different churches around the world. I'm in Brazil. Mm. I'm in Bahamas, I'm in Jamaica, I'm in America, Houston, uh, I'm in Dallas, Houston, Dallas, Texas, I'm wow. in New York City, New Jersey, 
Maryland. You look, you look very young for places. such a for such I mean, a India, I mean, Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe, oh. Zambia, different places. It's not about age. I've been preaching since 2001. It's about your relationship with God and finding your calling. And one thing I want to talk to you today is you are not born to die. You are not born to have kids, cars, houses, drink, wear nice clothes and die. There is a reason why God sent you here on earth. And I want you to understand that. The reason why God placed you here is because He wants you to fulfill something before you go back to heaven. And Judgment Day is coming to everybody, whether you're in church or not in church. And Judgment Day is not going to be, you were drinking or you were smoking. Nah! Judgment Day is saying, I sent you on earth to do this and help these people. What did you do? So are you saying with me, me again? with my wine, me as a drunkard, you have a purpose as well? What are you saying? Everybody has a purpose. God can't just take you from heaven and put you on earth and never make anybody make you feel like, oh no, someone is going to hell. Oh no, someone is from the devil. No, nah. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, all spirits will go back to the Father where it came from. Every flesh will go back to the ground where it came from. Mm. From dust you shall return. But your soul shall be judged. And the judgment coming to the soul is not you were drinking, you were smoking, you were wearing this, you were not going to church. Nah. The judgment is, what did you do with the assignment that I gave you? I, I have a one-on-one -on -one program like what we are doing right now over the phone. People go on my website, prophetpassion.com. And they register there and I your people by the phone. I, I minister prophetically, prophesy to them as a prophet to give them direction, so to you give can them an assignment. To me as well? I can. But, but 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 the main thing is this whole world, mainly people are now following after prophecy, looking for miracles, and them wonders. But hear me. The Bible says if you believe, signs, wonders and miracles will follow you. It's not about looking at somebody prophesying and miracles and now people are saying, I do miracles, I, that proves I'm a prophet. I do prophecy, that proves, no. The Bible says, even those that cast out demons, even those that prophesy, shall come to me. And they shall say, didn't we prophesy in your name? We were in the club standing with this guy wearing a nice Gucci suit. But Jesus will say, I never knew you guys, mainly because they did not have a relationship with God. So I'm saying, I don't touch this. I don't do this. You can do it as the Bible says, take a little. Let me just feel it. <laughs> but the main thing is, once you find Jesus, once you go close to the Holy Spirit, the Father in heaven walks with you every day, you will come to a place where this becomes nothing but you seek to fulfill the assignment God gave you. And I tell you, life becomes very easier. A man of God, before you finish, you, 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 you finish your dream, or before I finish my dream, um, why is it you don't condemn? Because I've listened to on TV, radio, other prophets, other pastors, they condemn people who drink like us. Well, my bishop, Bishop Noble Jones, if you know him, he said to me, young man, Church is not a place for perfect people. You don't go to a barber shop because you are clean shaved. You go to a barber shop because you are in a mess. By the time you come out from the barber shop, you are clean. Meaning to say, the church is a place for sinners. It's for people who are dirty so that they can have a redemption with God. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. We have a free book for you titled How to Conquer Water Spirits by Prophet Passion. To download our latest books and find books for free, please visit ProfitPassion.com and click the button on top that says Store. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. Mm -hmm. 
My bishop says, passion if you want a perfect church, make sure you go first in the morning, make sure nobody gets in, including yourself, and lock the door. Because no one is perfect before God. But we all go to church to be perfected. Makes sense. What I'm saying to you is, there is no gospel of condemnation. Jesus was not found in church, but he was found with the drunkards. He was found with the smokers. He was found with prostitutes. He was found everywhere outside. But he would also be in the temple, reading the scriptures, interpreting the scriptures. And I have good news for everybody today. My happiness to see everybody in here. Hey, young man, come here. Uh, I, I think I met this young man last time I was here. How are you doing? I'll so be happy always, to see you. I always come here to preach the gospel and enjoy my little drink. I saw this young man last time. His name is uh, Innocent. Innocent, this is, uh, this is Israel. Now, Israel Matthew, right? Yeah. And Innocent. How do you know my son? Java. How do you know my I know, name? I know. I thought you told me. No, I didn't tell you. When I said, oh, maybe it's God telling me. Uh, I'll be wow. happy to see this young man in heaven. I, I, I led him to Jesus last time I was here. And I'm glad he's here. He's looking well sharp and everything is fine. And I'll be happy to see you in heaven. I'll be happy to see everybody. And the message I have to the world is that never be in a place where you feel like I am in a one small room. I can meet Jesus. Jesus is not for the rich. He's not for the poor. He's for everybody. You can be in a mansion and meet Jesus. You can be in a one bedroom house and meet Jesus. You can be in a Lamborghini and meet Jesus. You can be in your Futogini and meet Jesus. You can be anybody. You can be wearing a nice suit or you can be totally naked and meet Jesus because he is a God of everybody. So my, my message to everybody is I am happy to see you guys and I want you to come to church with me this Sunday if you will. And we're just going to have some little fun in our church. It's not about don't drink, drink. It's not about no. It's about Jesus. And once you found Jesus, he's the one to tell you what to do and what not to do. Are there fine, fine ladies in your church? <laughs> we have everybody in our church, but we don't go to church to look for ladies. We <laughs> go to church your to look for Jesus. <laughs> and coming. once you are there, you get everything since we have the very best of everything in our church. I'll, I'll, I'll take you on that. I'll take you on that. Definitely on Sunday I'm going to come to your church. May God bless you. I won't be finishing my dream. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be leaving and I hope I see you both next time. This is um, Israel Matthew and this is Innocent Java. You nice guys should link and, and have more fun. And may God bless you. Cheers, prophet. Let us you. No, God bless you. I'll be seeing you. I hope you've been blessed by this wonderful message and powerful prophetic. Your patronage blesses many souls around the world. To give or to partner with Prophet Passion Ministries, please visit ProfitPassion.com and click the button that says Give.